charge back back The genius sisters use them like a lab rat A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom The boy's best friend is a talking dog That's right Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark Mega action game controller skating in the park A feral booster bling bling What do we make of this? Johnny Test Johnny Test This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test Johnny Test Johnny Test This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test organically grown, hypoallergenic, delicious, fruit-bearing, insect-repellent plant. After three years of pampering, we finally made the perfect tree. You're right, it is perfect. Was, was perfect. Dookie, you ruined one of our greatest experiments ever. Hey, when a super dog's gotta go, he's gotta go. Let's go. I just did. <laughs> They're today's number one fashion accessory. And one skill sees how cool we are with our hot new belts. He won't be able to resist noticing us. <laughs> Chewing leather is fun! Your dog is out of control. Oh, come on, he's gotta chew. Gesundheit. So, let's go over the plan one more time. Gil comes over to pick up his skateboard that we found and didn't take from his backyard. Then we will shower him with our homemade cookies, pies, and lemonade. And he'll thank us so much he'll hug us. So, oh, let's get ready! <laughs> Johnny! Dookie Ooh. ate our snacks we made for Gil that he was going to love us for. Shame on you, Dookie. You didn't save any for me. Sure I did. Now sit. Good boy. That's it. If Johnny can't control that dog, then we will. Foaming Alley Cat Alert! <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Stupid cats. They fall for the latte foam as rabies foam trick every time. Now to relax and enjoy this tasty coffee beverage. Or I could train you to become a flying disc catching wonder dog. Then we'll make a fortune at halftime shows. What do I have to do? You catch it in your mouth like this. Throw one to me and I'll show you. <laughs> Package for Dookie Dog. Special delivery from uh, France. Ooh la la! I love the French. French fries, French rose coffee, and French fashion. What a cool color! You have to admit that was a pretty great catch. Now you try. I'm done with these childish games, and I'm off to have some real fun. Okay, weirdo. Dookie! <laughs> Vacuuming the lab is fun! Um... No, it's not. Come on, let's go do boy and his dog stuff. You know, uh, doing boy things with dog, like not cleaning. Jonathan, Gil is coming over and I must prepare the lab. And it's almost tea time. Say what? Gil is just dreamy and I'm going to hang out with your mature sisters from now on. Bye-bye. You heard him, Johnny. He wants to hang with us for a while and not you. Tea without Johnny is served. Fine, I'll just go to the park and have fun all by myself. I can make my own fun. Who needs a best friend? <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without you, boy. Okay, that's way too much licking. <laughs> the two of us are having fun like no one person could ever have alone. Teeter-totters are so last year. <laughs> Pulling you girls on a rickshaw through the park is fun! Hey, he never gave me rickshaw rides. And he never liked Susan and Mary before. And I've got to stop talking to myself. <laughs> Emergency alley cat alert! 
Oh, right. Oh, that was my ex-best friend who scared you before. I, on the other hand, have no problems with you nice, foaming kitties. And run! Relax, you girls look fabulous. It's you! The skateboard, don't forget the skateboard. Uh, hey guys, you found my board? <sighs> um, later. Hey Johnny, tear your pants, jump in a fence again, or is that a new hip look I'm too old to understand? No! Dookie abandoned me! As far as I'm concerned, Dookie doesn't exist. Who's Dookie? Don't know. I wish he was gone forever. That boy really needs to stop talking to himself. Shopping for clothes and plutonium is fun! I never thought I'd say this, but you really are a great dog, Dookie. <laughs> so I guess I'm moving out of Johnny's and into your room, huh? <laughs> no, you're still really hairy and shedding. And we can't risk one of your night toots, so you still sleep with Johnny. No, I want to stay with you and... Okay, I will stay with the boy. Good times, good times. <laughs> He's smelly and totally avoids me, but we did have some great times. Huh? Wait a minute. <laughs> Made in Susan and Mary Tess's laboratory. Dry clean only. They are controlling your mind! Susan and Mary, I put this collar on you, and that's why you're not my pal! And why won't you wake up? Deep sleep mode. They're evil, but they do make a great mind-controlling collar. <laughs> won't come up! Fine! I'll just cut it off myself. Johnny, it's bedtime. What are you doing? I need to cut something, but I can't find the pickaxe or chainsaw. Hey! This'll do. Oh, okay. What? Johnny, that's not for young boys! If you need to cut something, you can use your safety scissors. Hmm, these ought to take care of Dookie. Johnny! How could you do this to Dookie? No, Dad, you don't understand. Susan and Mary gave Dookie this collar. Well, and... at least your sisters are nice to Dookie, so he can stay in their room tonight. Boy, <laughs> he's really sleeping. And you can sleep by yourself. And don't come out of this room! Super secret password required for entry into the lab. G.I.L. Gill. Access granted. Everlasting lipstick, the disco dance tron, the neural obedience collar to control Dookie's mind, the Gill bot. Hi, girls. I'm handsome. Collar to control Dookie's mind. Well, I guess we'll see who's in control now, Susan and Mary. <laughs> I have got to stop evil laughing to myself. Oh, Dookie! Our tea? Tea is served, ladies. And may I say what a wonderful day it is to be with you two and not the flaming-headed boy. And speaking of Johnny... Jonathan? Hey, I wanted to say I'm sorry about Dookie chewing your belts yesterday, and I apologize for his bad behavior. You're apologizing? Who are you, and what have you done with our brother? Anyway, to make it up to you, I got you some new super stylish belts that Gil will love. Wow, new belts. They are stylish. Yeah, Johnny, really awesome. Check out the flashing lights. And techno transmitter. Lights, transmitters, uh-oh. Get it off, take off the belt. Yes, Johnny, what can we do for you? Actually, it's what you can do for me and Dookie, my best friend, who I want back. Yeah, sure, whatever. And they had you in a dress, you did their nails, and you were their butler. Get out of here, that's hysterical. Warm up, please, now. Anything else super, super cool, Johnny and Dookie? Yes, time for Embarrass My Sisters Mode. Hi, Gil, we're geeks, we're geeks, we're geeks.
welcome to a strange and dangerous new world. One filled with untold horrors and terrors of the flesh. Johnny, stop talking about my face like that. But look how gross it is. Johnny! Well, I'm grossed out, and I sometimes cough up my dinner to enjoy it a second time. If you magnify anything a few thousand times, it's gonna look hideous. Hideously beautiful, that is. Tell that to Zitzilla there. I'm working as fast as I can. Duck, she's got a blow! Get rid of it now! See, there's nothing to worry about. Except that. Johnny, she's gonna blow! Again! Say what? Get some stabilizing compound! And it's gone! Man, I am not looking forward to my teenage years. Well, be prepared, Johnny. Every teenager goes through a gigantic ugly zit phase. It's nature's way of saying, growing up sucks. I not only look great, but I think we found our project for the science bonanza. Besides rock and roll, this sick cream could be the greatest invention for teens ever. Quick, instant message our classmates at the Institute for further testing. Aw, you're not having those super dweebs over here, are you? They are not super dweebs. Check that. They're mega super dweebs. Susan, Mary, we commutated here as expeditiously as we could. Welcome, Megamates. In keeping with this year's Bonanza theme of practical applications of science, we've invented a super killer zit cream. Huh? Zits? Do I have zits? More than 93% of all teenagers have some form of dermatological anomalies, and this cream will fix it. Yes, but does it help you travel at the speed of light? What about turning common salt particles into flash memory? Can it even help you get your avatar to level 12 of Eisenberg's cat box? Well, no. <sighs> but it will clean up your faces, you bosons! Susan and Mary, I'm afraid your little skin ointment, like you, is a total joke! They can't diss my sisters like that. Yeah, only we can diss them like that. It's okay, Mary. We'll think of something for the fair. Back to the lab. Wow, I've never seen them like that. We've got to do something. I know. We should prove just how wrong those super dweebs are by using Susan and Mary's pimple cream to permanently cure this town of its zitness. Actually, I was thinking of covering the dweebs' houses with toilet paper. But your idea works, too. I'm Hank Anchorman, and I have a facial blemish. Can that stuff work on handsome adults, too? And movie stars? Sure. Amazing. Amazing. Hey, what's going on here? Just the greatest invention for teens and people on TV and the movie since rock and roll. We, we want to try it. I feel so alive! And you can all thank Susan and Mary Test, my sisters. Hey, did either of you see the container of super killer zit cream we left in the lab? Totally. True that, Holmes. Huh? What did he just say? Oh, he's just excited because we demonstrated how incredibly practical your zit stuff is by fixing every nasty pimply face and pork belly. You what? And those super geeks will not diss you anymore. You did take the batch with the stabilizing compound, right? The stabilizing? Johnny, we didn't finish mixing the cream in the lab. It's not stable. Say what? We were just trying to help and prove those mega dweebs wrong. Why didn't you just TP their houses like we did? <laughs> Say, you don't have any more of that stabilizing compound by any chance? No, we need to make more. Why? Uh, this one. Pork belly pimple plague. I'm Hank Anchorman reporting from inside a paper bag at the Mega Institute of Technology where giant pimples are popping up everywhere. He had this hair 
there that looked all flamey, and he said he could help us. Now look at me, I'm hideous! Tell me you didn't tell them it was our invention. He said Susan and Mary Test invented this stuff. Let's get them! I have a plan. Run! We have to make more stabilizer, but we'll need time. Go! We'll stall them with these cold cuts and some tape. Don't panic. Everything will be fine. I, too, am a teen with bad skin. And Susan and Mary can help us all. Uh, what are you talking about? We have pimples, too. See? All right. That's a piece of salami attached to your cheek with tape. Ow. Yeah. That this is just pimento loaf. Let's get him. Wait. One more thing. We're under super geek attack and you've got a plan. We've got suits for you two. Okay, it's time to zap those zits. And pop those pimples. And blast those blemishes. And, hey, no fair. You took all the good zitty catchphrases. <laughs> Hey, we're out here! the door. Um, is that normal? Oh, no. Somehow, the clearing compound is causing the pimples to compound into... Zitzilla! Whoa, Whoa didn't, didn't see that coming. It's not shrinking. Hank Anchorman here as a giant pimple is about to eat pork belly and... We've got to cross the creams. What? What's that? She sounded scared. Why did she sound scared? It will either create a negative charge that could be highly effective and shrink Zitzilla, or highly explosive and destroy Pork Belly. Eh, what the heck. They did it! Zitzilla is gone! Hey, can I get some of that? Thanks! And first place in this year's science bonanza goes to Susan and Mary Test for their inventions a high-powered extinguisher, which crossed that giant pimple thing and stopped one of her worst skin outbreaks in history. An outbreak, I might add. Their mentally defective brother actually started. Hey, you can't diss our brother like that. Yeah, only we can. Which reminds me, the Zitstinguisher also has a reverse mode. Later, we'll TP their houses. 